the darkest planet of the solar system hides something interesting. There is an invisible planet in the solar system! Everybody knows that there are eight different planets in the solar system. Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Neptune, and Uranus. Hmm, let me see. I think I've forgotten about one little planet that hides somewhere near the sun. Yep, the very first planet that I have forgotten to mention is Mercury. Did you know that this planet is not what it seems? Well, this planet is really weird! First of all, it is so dark that it almost seems invisible to the poor scientists who try to find it every night in their telescopes without any luck! This mysterious planet is the closest to the sun, and that is why it is very difficult to observe from the Earth, and even more difficult to get to it. So why is Mercury so black? Maybe it hides from us for some reason? Scientists believe that the surface of Mercury is covered with a special substance which is called graphite. This substance is so black that it can even hide a whole planet. But why is there so much graphite on the first planet from the Sun? Well, on Earth, graphite is formed at a very high temperature in hot rocks covered with magma. When this infernal mixture gradually cools down, you get something from which you can make great pencils. I wonder if you can try to write something with Mercury? It seems to me that this question will not allow me to sleep peacefully now. Anyway, this unusual structure of Mercury may indicate that this small rocky planet could be even weirder than it was before. Did you know that Mercury can be a Chthonian planet? Well, if you, my dear friend, don't know what Chthonian planet means, then I'll tell you some little fairy tale. Once upon a time, there was a very big planet near the sun. It was so big and so hot that its gas surface was just pulled by the sun, leaving only a small scorched core. Thus, a huge gas planet quickly turned into a small rocky one. It seems to happen when you go to your new hairdresser and ask him to cut your hair a little bit. Just a little bit! Well, it happens roughly the same with Chthonian planets. There are a lot of strange objects in the universe. So, like our Mercury, one of the Chthonian planets could be Korat 7b, which currently orbits the star Korat 7, and is a super-Earth that is about one and a half times the size of our planet. Once upon a time, this planet was a huge gas giant the size of Saturn. But due to the close distance from its star, the planet has only a charred core now. Another striking example of Chthonian exoplanets may be the planet KOI 55b, orbiting the star KOI 55 in the constellation Cygnus about 4,000 light years from Earth. Quite a distance, isn't it? In order to see with our own eyes the surface of this incredible world, we would have to fly to the planet about 50 million years. No thanks, I would better try to entertain myself somewhere closer instead. Let's come back to the solar system and our own Chthonian planet, Mercury. In addition to its turbulent past, Mercury stands out among the other planets for its very unusual quality. It is the fastest planet in the solar system. It is believed that a year on Mercury lasts about 88 days, while a day on this slightly strange planet is 58 days. In other words, there are only one and a half days in a year on this planet. Hmm, Mercury, are you well? In addition to this oddity, Mercury's weather is also not ideal. It is very hot during the day, and the temperature can reach plus 350 degrees Celsius there. Then at night, it drops to minus 180 degrees, freezing everything on the surface. I think it's not such a good idea to build a house by the sea there. Although there's not even a small sea on this planet. My life will never be the same again! Despite the absence of some tiny sea or even a swamp on the Mercury surface, scientists believe that people could build soon their own base on this small planet. Although, not quite people. For the study of the darkest planet of the solar system could be attracted robots that can attract some useful minerals, such as iron sulfide, titanium, helium-3, and of course, graphite to make pencils. These smart machines could live under the planet's surface at the daytime and work hard for humanity at nighttime. Using helium-3 and solar energy for their work, robots could even build entire cities and countries on Mercury. It seems to me that this outcome could be a real Hollywood blockbuster. Anyway, in addition to the beginning of the development of minerals on Mercury, humanity would be able to build there a truly unique device for observing the sun. We could learn how to prevent the effects of solar magnetic storms, store a huge amount of solar energy for interplanetary travels, and much more! Our solar system is a truly unique place. In none of the discovered star systems, we have found a planet whose size would be comparable to the size of Mercury in a similar orbit. Perhaps in the distant past, one of the smallest and darkest planets in the solar system really was a giant planet? And if it is so, what does the future hold for Mercury? 
In order to stay up to date with the latest news from the world of science, push the like button and subscribe to our Smart Bananas channel.